ಸಂಸಾರ ಪರಮ ಮಾಧ್ಯಾಂ ಜಗದ್ವ್ಯಾಪಿನೀ ವೀಣಾ ಪುಸ್ತಕಧಾರಿಣೀ ಅಭಯತಾಂ ಜಾಡ್ಯಾಂಧಕಾರಾಪಹ ಹಸ್ತೆ ಸ್ಫಾಟಿಕ ಮಾಲಿಕಾಂ ವಿದಧತೀಂ ಪದ್ಮಾಸನೆ ಸಂಸ್ಥಿತಾಂ ವಂದೇ ತಾಂ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರೀ ಭಗವತೀಂ ಬುದ್ಧಿಪ್ರದ ಶಾರದ ನತ್ವಾ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ದೇವೀಂ ಶುದ್ಧಾಂ ಗುಣ್ಯಾಂ ಕರೋಮ್ಯಹಂ ಪಾಣಿನೀಯ ಪ್ರವೇಶಾಯ ಲಘು ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಕೌಮುಜಿ ವಿ ಫಿನಿಶ್ ದಿ ಅಚ್ಚಂದಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ದಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಇನ್ ಸೂತ್ರಪಾಠ ಇನ್ ಲಘು ಕೇಸ್ ದಿ ಹಲ್ ಸಂಧಿ ಪ್ರಕರಣ So, Hal Sandhi Prakaran is the next Prakaran here. Ata Hal Sandhi. So, now Hal Sandhi begins. Hala Sandhi, Hal Sandhi. Between, Halo Ho. Between Hal, whatever Sandhi is there, that is called as Hal Sandhi. The first Sutra here is Stosh Chunash Chuhu. ಸ್ತೋಷ್ಚುನಾಶ್ಚು ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೂತ್ರ ಇನ್ ಹಲ್ ಸಂಧಿ ಇನ್ ಲಘು ಲಘು ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಘು ಸೀಕ್ವೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಪಾದ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾದ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿಪಾದಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಏಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿ ತ್ರಿಪಾದಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವೇರ್ the sutras work in what is called as purvatra siddham adhikara so he, all these sutras will have the anuvrutti of purvatra siddham so it should apply in a sequence he takes this tosh chunash chuhu as the sutra to begin with the hal sandhi but before this there are a lot of hal sandhi sutras if you look at it hal sandhi itself starts from where here the sandhi prakarana starts here in 8.3, even before that, 8.2, see Purvatra Siddham 8.2.1, it starts here, and you look at this uh, section where, uh, see this, these sutras which will come later in the Lagu Prakriya, all these, see Sanyogantha Silopa we saw, we saw Sanyogantha Silopa, this is also lopa lopa is an adesha when for a sanyoga for the ending letter of a sanyoga and this is padanta padanta sandhi and this other sutra also these are all uh, sandhi prakarana only uh, sand, uh, inside the sandhi prakarana but he starts with the fourth pada in the fourth pada and some of the sutras lagu has already covered in the achandi prakrana because his examples needed them like uh, uh, we saw uh, uh, the sutra yesterday that we saw uh, achoraha bhyam dve and even before in the sandhi prakrana in the sanya prakrana itself uh, he had given uh, not sanya prakrana in the eco energy context he had covered anachiche also all these are also sandhi sutras hal sandhi sutras but he takes this sutra which is 8440 and 8440 is this hal sandhi prakaranam begins with stosh chunash chuhu so stosh chunash chuhu the cases if you mark stoho shashti the pratipadikam is see if this is shashti stoho like marutoho marutoho where do you get this marutoho shashti dvachana or uh, actually here it is not marutoho uh, guroho sorry guroho so shashti ekvachana guroho is considered as a uh, the, uh, it is uh, guru shabda if you look guru uh, 
स्तु स्तु विल बी द प्रातिपदिक षष्टी एक वचन स्थानी स्तु स्तु इज द प्रातिपदिकम एंड इट इज स्थानी स्तु इज वॉट सकारा एंड टू इट्स अ द्वंद्व सकारा एंड टू विल बिकम स्तू एंड षष्टी एक वचन इट विल डिक्लाइन ले गुरो हो स्तो हो वॉट इज टू सकारा एंड टू इज तवर्ग सो सकार तवर्ग यु चुना तृतीय एक वचन ले गुरुना चुना शुहु शुहु इज द आदेश सो प्रथम एक वचन शुना शुहु प्रातिपदिक इज चु शु हियर ऑल्सो एंड हियर ऑल्सो द प्रातिपदिक इज चु लाइक गुरु गुरुना सो लाइक चुना एंड वॉट इज दी समास हियर दिस इज ऑल्सो द्वंद्व शकारा एंड चु चु इज च वर्ग हियर ऑल्सो शकारा एंड च वर्ग सो वॉट इज द आदेश शकारा शंकर शकारा तालव्य शकारा और च वर्ग इज द आदेश फॉर वॉट फॉर सकारा एंड ट वर्ग रिस्पेक्टिवली सकारा विल बिकम शकारा एंड ट वर्ग लेटर विल बिकम च वर्ग लेटर वेन दिस इज द कंडीशन चुना सो वी हेव सीन पंचमी षष्टी प्रथमा इन दी सूत्र वॉट दोज मीन सप्तमी ऑल्सो वी सीन पर सप्तमी पूर्व पंचमी एंड देन षष्टी इज स्थानी प्रथम इज द आदेश वॉट इज तृतीय आई मेन्शन तृतीय इज बाय डायरेक्शनल सो इन दी संधि वेन यू से आफ्टर पंचमी समथिंग इज मेन्शन इफ पंचमी इज मेन्शन देन तस्मात पर आफ्टर दैट स्थानी इज आफ्टर दैट दैट बिकम्स स्थानी एंड कंडीशन इज वॉट पंचमी वॉट इज शोन इन पंचमी दैट शुड प्रिसीड दैट लेटर दैट इज द संधि एंड इन द संधि कार्य इफ यू सी सप्तमी देन दैट सप्तमी लेट इंडिकेट्स दैट शुड फॉलो द स्थानी दैट इज द संधि हियर तृतीय इज यूज वेन इट इज बाय डायरेक्शनल सो वेन सकार तकारा कम्स इन एसोसिएशन विथ शकार चकारा हाउ एनी विच वे वेदर शकार चकारा प्रिसीड सकार तकारा और सकार तकारा प्रिसीड शकार चकारा then this sandhi rule will apply and then whether sakara takara is preceding or sakara takara is following that is still the sthani and that takes the adesh of sakara or cha varga sakara ta varga or sakara ta varga will take sakara cha varga adesh what does the vritti say sakara ta varga yo ho sakara cha varga abhyam yoge so this is तृतीय इज योग योग पंचमी वॉट इज दट योग बाय डायरेक्शन इधर वे शकार चरगा चवर्गाभ्या सह तृतीय सह योग वॉट हैपन्स देन योगे योगे सती शकार चवर्ग स्तः शकार चवर्ग आदेश स्तः दीज आर दी आदेश एक्सापल गिवन रामशेते रामचिनोति सचित एंड शार्ग शार्गिन जय शार्गिन जय नॉट जय जय वॉट इज दिस एक्साम्पल राम शेते राम शेते सो संधि हियर इज बिट्वीन राम राम हियर एक्चुअली in when you write this then visarga is there but really the pada is ram uh, uh, the sandhi wise if you uh, start looking at it then visarga is not really born then so what is it it is uh, ram plus su here ram plus su is there and that becomes ramas ramas and then ramas shete becomes either ramash shakara or visarga it remains this way so sandhi starts when you you use the uh, in a sentence then the padam is complete only when you say ramah ramah shete in in the language the way we use it but in derivation this is rama rama plus su rama plus su uh, now if i cover that then i'll have to do visarga sandhi sutras also hmm because uh, being in tripadi you can't create a visarga and then go back 
it has to be with the pada. So in Vyakrana we have to study how the padas come in association and in when you say padas that time Rama plus Su has to be seen. Rama plus Su and then Shete. This is the Sandhi. And how Visarga is born or it is not born that we have to analyze. Therefore, uh, some complicated sutras are also there uh, which is in Visarga Sandhi as per Lagu Prakriya. Let me see if I can quickly touch upon those. Just give me a moment. How many sutras I'll have to cover? I'm just looking at it. Hmm. Okay, I'll just, uh, I'll not cover all those. I'll just mention in passing and then we can uh, see the important sutras as per the current sutra in the context of the current sutras. Okay, let's say, let's start here. Rama plus Su. Pratama Ekvachana Shete and we don't care how Shete is derived right now. It means what? Shing. Shing Dhatu. He sleeps. So Rama sleeps. Here this is Shete is Bhave Vitpati. Uh, uh, not Bhave Vitpati. It is Bhave Prayoga. Shete. Rama Shete. And Rama plus Su will become what? Rama. Then Sakara. Ukara is it by Upadeshe Janunasika it. So it will become Ramas Shete. Upadeshe Upadeshe Janunasika it. And then Tasya Lopa. We should not forget these sutras, therefore sometimes we will visit these. So Ramas Shete. It has become Sakara, uh, not become Sakara, only Sakara remains. So Ramas is where you are, Ramas and Shete. Therefore, Sakara and Shakara Yoga is there. Otherwise, if you write it as Ramaha Shete, then there is no uh, Yoga between this Shuna, Stoh Shuna Shu, Sakara Tavarga and Shakara Chavarga Yoga is not there. It would become a Visarga and uh, Shakara Yoga. But it is not, this sutra is invoked when there is a Sakara and Shakara Yoga. Therefore, you may or may not get a Visarga here. What happens now is, in the Prakriya, Rama, this Sakara at, at the end of the Pada, it is a Pada. Why? Because uh, Rama plus Su is a Padam, Suptingantam Padam. So, if I have to write that also here, just so that we know Padanta Sandhi. Supting Antam Padam. This is a sutra by which each of these, this supan, Subantam and this is Tingantam. Subantam and Tingantam, these are Padam now. Rama Sakara, Sakara becomes what is called as Ru. Ru is a uh, technical co uh, construct. It is a technical construct called Ru which is in this section. If you look at this section, this is a complicated section because Visarga Sandhi with Sutras is a little difficult to understand for people who do not have, uh, have exposure to this. So directly learning Visarga Sandhi, exposure to the Sanskrit language. So la language wise we say Ramaha, Ramaha, Ramo, Ramaha and if people know the Sandhi then they will say Visarga and uh, something has taken a Sandhi. Actually what happens in the Prakriya, there is something called as Ru Prakaranam here. Ru Prakaranam. This is the section starting from 831 till 8312. This Ru goes till 12. And uh, what is an important Sutra here? Here, this Ru is an Adesha. Matuva Suru Sambudhu Chandasi Just a second. So, uh, this room is an Adesha, till this 12 there is Ru Anuvrutti and similarly there is a Sutra which is Saso Jusho Ru. Just a second, let me, I have gone a lot back I think. So, here, 
Just a second. It's a little difficult to go through PDFs. I prefer to look through my book. To go a little further back. So, here in 8.2 section, there is a sutra, Sasajusho Ruhu. This Ruhu, there is Ru. And another one here you look at it. In uh, this section, 831. So, 82, 8266, there is Ruhu, which goes till 71. 8 to 71. So, 8 to 66 to 8 to 71, there is something called as Ru Adesha. Ru. Whereas, here, there is Ru Adesha. Note the difference between Ru and Ru. Ru here is uh, Anunasika. There is Anunasika. And here, the, it is Ananunasika. Ru. Looks similar, but it is not. Because the rules which apply between Ru and uh, Ru can be different. Now, based on this, uh, there may be some common commonality between Ru and Ruhu when they become Refa. Sometimes, see, Ruhu, Ukara, Ru, Ukara is not, lo, it does not, uh, it is not an it letter. But Ru, this Ru, Ukara is an it letter because it is Anunasika. This Ukara, which is an Ach, is an Anunasika and thereby, Anunasika Idbhavati. Therefore, the content of this is Refa. Whereas, the content of this is Ru. So, in sutras where you see Raha somewhere, then Raha will be, will, Raha is Shashti Ekvachana of Ru, not of Ru. Because Raha will, will be Shashti Ekvachana. See, here you see Raha. This Raha Raha is Shashti Ekvachana. What you see here, Raha is Shashti Ekvachana for Ru. Why Ru? Because Ukara is it and Refa Shashti will be like Marutaha. Shashti Ekvachana, like Marut, Takaranta, Halanta, it will become Marutaha. Similarly, Raha is the Shashti Ekvachana of Refa. And the content of Ru is Refa. Whereas Roho, here you see Roho, this Roho is Shashti Ekvachana of Ru, not of Ru. Not of Refa, but of this Ru. Is this clear? The differentiation between Ru and Ruhu? I hope this is clear. Any, if any question, just ask me the difference between Ru and Ruhu. So, there are these two um, sections where they are in very close. They are very close. They sound close. No, there may be row ro elsewhere also. Forget where they occur. I am just showing you roho and ruh. Uh, I want you to not focus on other sutras. Just focus on ru and ro. In some su sutras, there may be roho. So, here you have roho, here you have uh, ro. So, this ro is raha. This roho is, uh, oh, this is for ru, this is for ru. So, there may be many sutras where roho may be used, Ru, uh, uh, ro may be used, ro ho may be used. There is a difference between ro and ro ho. And that is the difference between raha and ru. This is ru, which is raha, and this is for ru, which is ro ho. So, in one case, ukara is it, another case, ukara is not it. And they, they are used across. They, there may be several places where they will apply and some places it will be applicable for both Refa as well as Ru. So, based on that, uh, it, we have to make differentiation between what is the Adesha, where it is applicable and so on. Now, coming back to the context of context of uh, our Sutra, which is what? Uh, sorry, Rama Ru. So, here I wrote Ru. What will happen? Here you will get Rama Ru. 
Sasoju Sho Ru. So, uh, okay. Where is the sutra? I am hoping that in this book it, the, the Anuswa, the, it is marked well. So, Ru Prakrana Sasho. I think this is also Ru. Sasoju Sho Ru. Um, Ruho Asupi. Okay. There is some error in this book, I think. Just let, let me check with uh, Kashika. Hmm. It has to be room, I think, here. Yes, this is the room for it. Okay, uh, I think there is an error here. This should be Ruhu. Sasho Yusho Ruhu. So, uh, just a second. So, in our, what I had written is right here. In So, here you will get Rama Ruhu by Sasho Yusho Sasa. Jusho ho ruhu. By that you will get. So uh, just remember that this is refa. Ukara is it. So Saso Jusho Ruhu says that after Sakara, uh, this, um, this Sakara will take Sakarasya and Sajush. Sajush, forget Sajush now. Sakarasis and for Sajush there is Ruma Adesha. So you have Sakara here and this is Padanta. Padantasya Sakarasya. This is a Padanta Sakara that will take Ruma Adesha. So you will get Ru here. So you will get Rama Ru Shete. Rama Ru Shete. This is where you land now. Now there is another Sutra which says this Rori here, Rori, ro, after Rori, this Raha goes till 15. So this Sutra says what? Kharavasanayo, uh, khara, khara, khar and avasana, ava, avasanayoho. Kharavasanayoho visarjaniha. Kharavasanayo, oh, sorry, tongue twister for me today. Kharavasanayo visarjaniha. So visarjaniha is visarga. Visarga is an adesha after a khar. When a khar or a avasana follows, khar avasana, avasana yoho is saptami divachana here. So saptami is para saptami. So khar avasana yor visarjaniya says, visarjaniya is an adesha. For what? For raha. Raha is shashti ekvachana. For raha, for refa, there is a visarjaniya or a visarga adesha. When, when there is khar, khar letter, Khar letter means what? Khapa chata sa chata tau. So, and kapai shasasar. When all of these, this uh, second of the class, first of the class, and the shasasar, these three shakaras, shakara, shakara, and the uh, talave shakara, murdhanya shakara, or sakara follows, then visarga is the adesha for, for refa. And what is this refa? This room becomes ray fire. Again, same sutra. Upadesh Janyasikait and Tasya Lopa. When you apply, you will get Ramar. Ramar Shete. So, Ramar Shete applies and Tasya Lopa. So, you will get Ramar. Or, we will just drop this now. We will not repeat this. We will just say Ramar Shete and Ramar Shete will become what now? Ramaha Shete. By which sutra? By this Kharavasana Yor Visarjaniyaha. Kharavasana Yor Visarjaniyaha. 
So Visarga has happened. Now, what does it say? Visarga is one possibility. Now, other possibility. So, starting with Ramash, see Ramaha Shete, Ramas Shete, we have reached Ramaha Shete. So, this is one possibility. Other possibility is our Sutra, current Sutra, Stosh Chunash Chuhu. But for Stosh Chunash Chuhu, to, what have we said? We need Sakara. We need the Sakara. Therefore, our Sutra here, Kharavasane uh, or Visarjaniya, this Sutra, after this Sutra, what happens is you get, once Visarga is born, you get Visarjaniyasya Saha. Visarjaniyasya Saha. Here in the this, this sutra, Visarjaniyasya Saha, this sutra will come into play and Visarga which is born, what does that say? That sutra says Visarjaniyasya Saha, let me check the Anurutti. The problem is uh, going up and down the uh, PDF is easier with a book. So, 8333. Uh, I have in my book it is 34, yeah, 34, 8334. Only Samhitayam and Padant Sandhi. So, Visarjaniyasya Sahabhavati, the Kashika Vritti there says, Visarjaniyasya Sahabhavati, it says, uh, Kashika says, Khari iti anuvartate. So, khar, khari. Khari is coming from what? Hmm. Does anyone have the anuvarti marked? Okay. In Visarga Sandhi, we will have details of this. The problem is in this, uh, uh, the uh, Laghu, there these sutras are a little out of order for me to search. So, 54. I don't know which sutra you have the Anurti. 8334 to 54. So, what are you talking about, uh, Kalyanji? Just a second, uh, I need to see the Laghu number. This version is 103, okay. Yeah. Okay.
So I think there is a number issue. Uh, yeah, there is a numbering issue across books, so it's a little difficult to find. Okay, let me see here. We saw this Visa 8334. Uh, okay, what is happening is this uh, this sutra that we saw, Kharavasanayur Visarjaniya. This is the uh, this is what it says, Divachana, Kharavasanayur. So Khar is there. And avasana. So if you split it, what will happen? Okay, that is what is happening. A little tricky. Okay, let me just uh, see if I can see this. Karavasana or visarjaniya. I'll just take this as an aside. So you look at this karavasana or visarjaniya. That's why it's difficult to find. What has happened is this khari, khari, cha, visar. So khar cha visar. I can say khara. Kharicha Visarjani Ye Visarjani Ye Sorry, vis, uh, sorry Avasana Not av, Visarjani Kharcha Kharicha Avasane Pare Visarjani Adesha Bhoti So Visarjani If I split this Khara and Avasane Khara Avasane or Khara Avasane or is a Dvivachana So that is what Khari Khari pare avasane pare. That's what it means. Khari, khari pare va avasane pare va. So khari cha avasane, it is va. Khari pare va. Khari pare va. Avasane pare va. Visarjaniya adesha bhoti. This is what it means really. And the khari yamusha, only the khari part from this, this khari, has an anuvritti till this sutra. So from here, this khari amusha, which goes till, goes to our sutra, which is visarjaniya saha. So visarjaniya saha kada bhavati? Bhavati khari pare bhavati. When khar follows, khar letter follows. Therefore, this shakara is khapa chatata chatatao kapai shasa sar. So this shakara is khar letter. And when khar letter follows, that time what will happen? Rama, it will become visarjaniya se kim bhavati? Saha bhavati. So it becomes sakara again. See, this is our interest. We started with sakara, it became ru, and then repha took visarga adesha, and visarjaniya se saha bhavati. Now it has come back to sakara. This is important. Uh, it has to go through this process and become sakara again and once that sakara we can't do that sandhi here it has to go through all the process of becoming a visarga and come back once it becomes ramas then then this stosh chunashu applies stosh chunashu we could have applied it here itself and said it is done but that's not how it works you have to go through the process for to understand uh, how the tripadi karya works that's why it has come back to ramas Shete by Visarjaniya Sya Sahabhavati Khari Pare and this Khari is coming from the earlier sutra that we have marked. You can mark it but then it is a little tricky. Uh, you can just uh, uh, mark it in your book. Instead of marking Khari comes from here, you can mark it in brackets. Because where khari comes from is not clear, that's why you can mark it there, if you like. Otherwise, it will be clear only when you read the uh, uh, detailed ruttis. And detailed ruttis are not available unless you go to tika level. So that's why I was searching for khari where it comes from. Because without that, just visarjani is just sir, it cannot be a blanket adesha. Otherwise, all the time it will become sir. It is, does not become all the time. It becomes sakara only when uh, khar follows. Now, this Ramas, Ramas Shete will become Ramas, Ramas Shete. It will become Ramas Shete. This is by our Sutra, which is Stosh Chunashchu. Chunashchu. Sorry. Chu. 
this is our sutra now uh, other possibility is also there here i think okay we can leave it here or say uh, vashari hmm. so there is another uh, sutra here which makes it a vikalpa so here you see another sutra vashari so what happens vashari vashari means when shar letter follows currently we saw what when khar letter follows this is when khari pare but shar is what shar is a subset of khar khar means khar what is khar khar is equal to khar is equal to uh, varga ditiya ditiya plus varga prathama plus what shar that is khar because it this will start with khapa chata ta chata thau then kapai shasasar so sh, uh, shar is what shasasar this is uh, the last component of khar now this shar when shari va shari what visarjaniya 36 visarga is an adesha as a vibhasha if it does not take vibhasha that means you you don't apply visarjaniya se sahabhavati and then va shari it optionally does not become uh, saha it does not become saha so optionally if it does not become saha when shar follows then what will it become it will remain it will remain visarga so this by vashari you will get optionally so i'll put in brackets optionally you will get ramah ramah shete why due to vashari vashari visarjaniya so if you apply this sutra vashari then you will get visarjaniya will not become this this will not apply visarjaniya se sah only va vibhashaya therefore it will remain visarga it will not become uh, or it will come back to visarga by vashari it will come back to visarga and if visarga exists then this sutra stosh tunash to cannot apply therefore you will have two forms ramashete or ramahashete so these are the two forms if you apply vashari okay so uh, this one single sutra took so much time otherwise if we just look at uh, uh, ramashete and with sakara itself here itself we do the sandhi we could have gone fast but this is important to know as to when it applies when it does not apply which sutra will come into play and in tripad it is very important because your whole form will change in many cases next example is ramas chinoti similarly here ramas chinoti same above process will apply and you will get either ramah chinoti or ramas chinoti so what has changed the form now this sakara ramas you start with ramas chinoti what is the yoga here now the yoga is between this sakara sakarasya chinoti this chinoti is what chu it is chu therefore the sandhi is between sakara and cha varga letter earlier was what this sakara and shakara in chu shakara next example is sachit here the sachit is what sat and chit 
So what is the sandhi between takara and chakara? So chakara is chu and takara is stoho, sakara and takara. Sakara, here earlier two examples are for sakara as the sthani. Here the example is with takara as the sthani. Chavarga letter. When it comes with chavarga letter association, then it will take chavarga adesha. Therefore, it will become sat chit. Next example is Shargin Shargin Jaya. Shargin Jaya is what? He He Shargin Jaya. So Jaya is Dvitiya Ekvachana. So it is, uh, sorry, Madhya, Madhya Purusha Ekvachana. Let there be Jaya. Let there be Jaya for whom? For Shargin. Who is Shargin? Sharanga Hasya Stiti Sharangin. Matuparte Ini Pratya Vishnu. So Sharangin is uh, Vishnu and he has Sharanga. That's why he is called as uh, Sharangin. So Sharanga is a bow. He has a bow. Therefore he is called as Sharangi. Sharangi. Nakara becomes Lopa and this Ikara will become Dirga. But in Sambodhana it will re remain like the Pratipadika. So He Sharangin Jaya. In the Sandhi what happens? This is a Tavarga letter and that is in association with the Chavarga letter. So it will take a Adesha of the He. He is only to indicate that it is Sambodhana. Shangi Jaya. How Nakara became Nyakara? Closest is what? This Jakara, Cha Cha Jaja Nya, thereby you will get this Nakara will become Nya. Okay, so four examples, any other examples? No, that's it. So next Sutra is Shat. Shat says what? Shat Parasya Tavargasya Chuttam Nasyat. This sutra, Shat. Shat is Panchami Ekvachana. Shat is Panchami Ekvachana. And what is the Anuvrutti? Look at 8444. 8444, Shat has an Anuvrutti of what? Toho, Toho and Na, this Na comes down, Na is there, Toho, from Na Padanta Toranam, from there you will get sha Na, Na, what? Na, Toho, Toho Na, what Na, further you look at, what else comes still here? Shat, um, you have Toho, Toho, then I think that is it. Shat, Toho, Na. So, what Na? And from our sutra also you have Chuttam Na Bhavati. Whatever was a Shat Parasya Tavargasya, Chuttam Na Syat. This it will not take this Takara, which takes this uh, Takara as in uh, not Takara, Tu. Two as in Tavarga letter which was taking the Shashti Ekvachana and Na, Na Syat. It will not take whatever it was taking. What was it taking? It was taking Chavarga Adesha. That Chavarga Adesha it will no longer take. When? When it is Shatpara. Shatpara is Shakara Uttara. Shakara Uttara Syat Tavarga, Tavarga Sya Chutvam Na Syat. That's what Shatpara Sya means. Examples given are Vishnaha Prashnaha. So you have Vishnaha. Vishnaha 
दिस इज अंग प्रत्यय आई थिंक नंग प्रत्यय सो इट्स अ क्रदंत शब्द विष्ण इज विश प्लस विश इज द धातु एंड विश आई थिंक दीप्त और विच्छगत सो विच्छगत और दीप्त न इज द प्रत्यय नंग विश प्लस न सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग द शकार शात पर से शकार उत्तर से शकार उत्तर से कस्य त वर्ग से त वर्गांतर्गत से नकार से दिस नकार विच इज पार्ट ऑफ त वर्ग दैट विल नॉट टेक वॉट इट विल नॉट टेक चकार आदेश इट विल नॉट बिकम न्यकार अर्लियर द वे इट बिकम न्यकार हियर इन शांगीन जय शांगीन जय दैट वे दिस नकार विल नॉट टेक चुत्व सो इट विल रिमेन न सो विश प्लस न This is nang. I think nang pratya will become what wish na, and then you add wish na plus su, you will get wish na. Similarly, prashna. Of course, uh, I have skipped a few steps. Otherwise, dhatu is prach. Here also, which dhatu is which? I am just starting with prash. Prash plus na prash. This is actually prachcha. Otherwise, we have to see more sutras which are not related here. Hmm. Nang pratya only. What else is there? I am thinking if I uh, okay. I think we prach. Dhatu is prach. Prach actually, which is. I will write in bracket prachcha, and here also dhatu is vish, vichcha. So this is nang again, and becomes prashna, prashna. So I'll skip these steps. So easy, comparatively easy, and very specific. नेक्स्ट सूत्र है स्तुनाष्टु लाइक चुनाष्टु स्तुनाष्टु वेरी सिमिलर टू दी अर्लियर सूत्र एक्सेप्ट दी दी योग इज सिमिलर स्तोह स्तुना योगे स्टु सियात इंस्टेड ऑफ स्तोह चुना स्तुना योगे स्टु सियात स्तुना योगे स्टु सियात व्हाट इज स्थानी सकारत वर्ग हियर सो दिस इज तृतीय एक वचन दिस इज प्रथम एक वचन and what is the anurutti here again sto sto because this is 8441 which is the immediately next sutra after 8440 in between or laghukara has sandwiched the 8444 sutra therefore it's difficult to understand what happened here 8440 8444 and then 8441 he went back and did this sutra stunashtu स्तुना योगे स्तु सिया एक्सापल रामष्टीकते रामष्टीकते पेष्टा तट्टीका चक्री ढौकसे वॉट इज दिस राम राम इज दिक्स राम इज दिक्स स्टार्ट विथ राम Rama is Rama Rama plus Rama Su. Rama plus Su and Shasta. Both are Subanta Padas. And Rama Shast Rama so you'll get Rama. Then Rama. Then it will become Rama Ru. Then it will become Rama. then it will become ramas ramaha or ramas both possibilities exist so if you get ramas if you get ramaha then it will remain ramaha shashta 
that is the optional form that we saw earlier, similar, because khari, va, uh, va shari, shari will include the shakara also, shakara, shakara, sakara, all three are included, therefore in this case, when uh, any of these three shar letters follow, then that time optionally you get visarjan yasya saha, va shari, if it becomes a visarga, then no further sandhi, it will become ramaha shashtaha. So, you will get Ramaha Shashta in one form, in another form there is Sakara Adesha. So, you will get Visarjaniya Shasha and thereby Rama Shashta. Rama Shashta and then you have this Sandhi Stoho Shtuna Shtuhu. So, Sakara Shya Shtutvam Bhavati, Shtuhu Adesha Bhavati. So, this will become Ramaha Ramas Shashta. Ramash Shashtaha. Similarly, Ramaha Tikate. Rama Tikate means Tik Dhatu is Gatav, Gatyartha Dhatu. So, Ramaha Tikate will become, so Rama goes, Rama goes this will become Ramaha, it's actually Rama plus Su and similarly so on it will become Ramas, either Ramaha Tikate or, so this is the final form or if you apply the Sutra of Visarjaniyasya Saha then Ramas Tikate will become Ramas Tikate. and then it will become Ramash Tikate. So, this is an optional form. So, I will mark this optional. Otherwise, you will get Ramaha Ramash Tikate. Next example is Peshta. Peshta is what? Peshta is Pishdhatu. Pishdhatu and Trich Pratya. Let me just, uh, whether it is that or something else, let me check. You will get in Lutlakar also, you will get that form, I think. Hmm. Okay, both. You can get Trich also or I think you will get Syatasi Ru Lutoho. Syatasi Ru Lutoho. Luto. So, Lutlakar also is possible. So, Lutlakara, Peshta, so you can get in that also. So, not type over, Pishdhatu. So, Pishdhatu, Trich Pratya you add, Trich Pratya makes a karta out of it. So, either you add Pish plus Trich or Pish plus Lut, Lutlakara, Lutlakara, So, either of these you will get the same form. Here what, what happens? Uh, here you will get in the first we will take the Trich Pratya. Here this Takara is there. Toho Stunashtu. Any which way. Yoga is there, this Shakara or Stu has Yoga with Ta, Sto, Takara. So here Ta Varga letter is there. Therefore, Ta Varga letter will take Shtutvam. So, it will become Takara, it will become True. Actually, uh, even before that, actually before that I should decline it, it is uh, Pesh True, pe, yeah, should be okay, Pesh True, okay, it will become uh, chakara is it first by Halantyam. I have not mentioned that Chakara Pratya is it. So, Miltrucho, Kartari Miltrucho, it is a Krit Pratya after a Dhatu. Dhatu ho uh, Pratya Parascha Bhavati. So, by that you have added Pish plus Trich. So, Trich will make the 
करता प्रातिपदिका विल बी अ करता वेरी डिक्लाइन इट विल बिकम अ कर्तरी अर्थ है एंड विद दिस शकार योग इन त्रिपादी यू हैव गॉट टकार आई हैव गॉट टकार आदेशा सो यू गॉट पिस्ट्रु योर प्रातिपदिकम बिकम्स पिस्ट्रु नाउ व्हेन यू ऐड पिस्ट्रु प्लस सू टू डिक्लाइन देन not is true it has to become is true so this trich pratyaya also when you add trich pratyaya trich is an ardha dhatu ka pratyaya this ardha ardha dhatu ka pratyaya and it can cause uh, it can cause guna so you will get paste paste true you will get paste true uh, by puganta lagu padasya cha actually what happens is this trich So if you have to derive it, um, even before this, you will get this this plus which you added. I'll take that paksha and say, so uh, things it sarva dhatu kam ardha dhatu kam shesha. Shesha means anything which is not things it. And what is not things it? This is neither thing. Trich is not a thing, pratyaya, and trich is does not have uh, shakara as an it. Therefore, it is not a shit pratyaya. It is not a thing pratyaya. And thing shit sarva dhatu kam. This is ardha dhatu kam because it is shesha. And sarva dhatu ka sarva dhatu ka ardha dhatu ka yoho guna ha bhavati. Otherwise, puganta lagu padasya cha. Puganta lagu padasya cha. Uh, here so next sutra here next step we'll say this it will become pesh plus trich because puganta puganta is puk is an agama puganta puganta but we are interested in laghu pada laghu padasya cha laghu padasya upadha लघुपद से वॉट हेपन्स गुण देर इज गुण गुण फॉर वॉट लघु उपद लघु उपद मीन्स शॉर्ट उपद उपद इज अ सेकेंड लास्ट लेटर और पेनल्टीमेट लेटर इन दि धातु इकारा पकार इकारा एंड शकारा दैट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन हियर एंड इकारा इज अ लघु उपद देर फॉर लघु उपद विल टेक गुण वेन सार्वधातुक आर्ध धातुक सार्वधातुक धातुकार्ध धातुक सप्तमी द्विवचन वेन सार्वधातुक और एन आर्ध धातुक प्रत्यय फॉलोज दैट टाइम देर इज गुण द अर्लियर सूत्र सेट बट गुण देर इट अप्लाइज टू दी लास्ट लेटर हियर द लास्ट लेटर इज अ हल एंड दैट कैन नॉट टेक गुण ओनली अ वॉवेल्ट कैन टेक गुण इफ इट कैन टेक गुण हियर This ikara is puganta lagu pada. Therefore, the puganta lagu. It's a lagu pada. It's not a puganta lagu pada. It is a lagu pada. And this sutra which says puganta shab uh, anga or that which has lagu pada, that can take guna. And here lagu pada is there. Ikara is a lagu pada. Short lagu means short. Here in this case, for simplicity, it is a short, uh, shorter vowel that can take guna. So ikara guna is ekara. therefore it will become pesh it will become pesh and then stosh to nash to our sutra and thereby you get pestru pestru as pratipadika and when you decline it it will become pestra pesta sorry not pestra pesta like your datru becomes data 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 ro data raha similarly this will become pesta pesta ro pesta raha this uh, In lutte here, shatasi luru toho. That paksha will skip for now. Uh, in tinganta, we'll see that it will take a tas adesha. So uh, it will. I'm not covering all sutras here also because how trich becomes ta. Uh, it will need a lot of uh, other sutras. We'll see it in subanta. So this is our interest here. Uh, this one, this two. Our interest focus area is this current sutra applies here. 
I'll just uh, cover these two examples that take a just give me a moment. So here tat teka yoga is between what takara stoho stoho content there uh, the part of takara content of stoho tu varga takara as in tu varga letter and stuna stuna here takara takara in a saha yoga vartate so tat teka will become that teka uh, actually samasa also tasya teka tasya teka is tat teka that will become what Tattika. Last example is Chakrin Chakrin Dhaukase. This Dhauk is also uh, Gatyarta Kada Dhatu Dhau Dhaukase Vitya Ekvachana. He Chakrin. Like what we saw earlier. So he is not Chakrin. Chakrin. So he Chakrin. He chakrin dhaukase. You are going, so or you go. So, what? so he chakrin will become chakri sambodhana. Same Vishnu, chakrasya siddhi, chakri and sambodhana is he chakrin. Nakara and dhakara yoga is there. Nakara is what? It's a tavarga letter. And dhakara is what? It is uh, tavarga letter. So, ta tha dha dha. Here you have ta tha dha na. So this tatha dada na. So this nakara being a two letter, tavarga letter, it will take the adesha of nakara here. The last of the tavarga. Varga panchama will be the adesha and you will get chakrin dhaukase. So we will stop here and see the next sutra in the next class. मृतावसाने नटराज राजो नना धडक्कान पंचवारं उद्धर तुकाम सनका विसिद्धान येत द्विमर्शे शिव सूत्र जालं That's it. Any questions? Sorry for the hiccups in during the class. I had to go back and forth the sutras to find the anurutti. Any questions? Okay, no questions. So I'll see you in the next part. Up.